How's it going guys and welcome to Prehistoric Kingdom. Now this is only a demo so it is and it's out on Steam so I will have the link in the description below. And pretty much what it is is a park building dinosaur game. Something like Job, uh, Operation Genesis. Um, obviously a bit more updated because like I said op uh, like op Operation Genesis now was out in what, 2002 or something. But on that note, two days ago Jurassic Park or Jurassic World Evolution was announced to be released next summer 2018 and can I say it looks absolutely amazing well what it's going to be look absolutely amazing it's from the creators of Sue Tycoon Planet Coaster which is an amazing game I also have that as well I haven't done any videos on it but I probably will soon Um, Roller Coaster Tycoon as well so it's going to from those games it's probably going to be amazing um, obviously there's not that much out on it yet but I will be keeping a close eye on it and we'll keep news up to date throughout the channel um, obviously the more I hear about it so yeah but anyway today we're about prehistoric kingdom and I will leave the link to the description in the description for the steam page and I will also link to their Facebook page too because that's where all the news and stuff is about their game um, will be they also have a Twitter as well but I'm sure you can find it on Twitter if you use Twitter. But we're going to get stuck in. We're going to start a new game. Um, we're going to have North Lake Zoo, Northern Lake Zoo, which is, looks absolutely. Look, the park's pretty big. Like the maps are pretty big. I have played this for a wee bit, um, so I sort of know what I'm doing. But I mean, like it is. Pr the maps are rather huge, which is good. So obviously, we have the likes of um, natural resources, moderate trees, moderate water. Per, is that oil? And it's rich with well, sunshine. Seventy-eight percent suitable space for building, which is probably these mountains. You probably can't build in these mountains yet. Um, we can only do normal game. We can't do campaign mode or sandbox, unfortunately. Um, four seasons is accessible. What I do like about this, it has like the whole city skyline sort of like menu system, and it also has the sort of like the whole city skylines like UI as well for when you're in the game. Not saying that they stole or anything, but I actually do really like the way this UI is for both City Skylands and this here. So hope they keep it because it's relatively simple and relatively straightforward for people like me who's a bit simple on it can actually um, use it. And it's it's just that's what you want. You want games to just have like a nice UI, simple to use, and there you go, bam, that's the game. But anyway, not for me rambling on. We're gonna get into this. Um, there is four dinosaurs. I don't know if saying this count my fingers here, that's how simple I am. <laughs> four dinosaurs, yeah, they have four dinosaurs. And um, there's no like park entrance or anything yet, so pretty much what we're gonna do is we're just gonna build the four exhibits and have a look at each of the dinosaurs. Like I said, I've already had a wee peek at them, I know what they're like, but for you guys that haven't actually seen this, we'll see what they're like anyway. Um obviously we're gonna do the one map, so we're gonna start wham. Gonna start in next. Um which I'll probably end up purchasing as well. So we'll have this. We'll have Mesoga when it's first. It's alpha. Um, the guys have been saying it's going to be pretty close to launching. And then, like I said, we have Jurassic World Evolution, which is out next summer, which I am really looking forward to. Not that I'm not looking forward to these games, but I mean, I I just like Jurassic. Here we go. Um, the controls are pretty straightforward, as you can see. Like I said, with the whole city skyline sort of like UI system, very neat and tidy. I like it. So if any of the guys from Prehistoric Kingdom are watching this, please keep this because it's very, very cool and very easy to use. Um, so we go in here and we have fences. We have quite a lot of fences. We have wood, stone, metal. Obviously, we're going to have glass and we're going to have miscellaneous as well. Um, tool tips. They're here. You can If you download the demo yourself, you can have me read through them. I already know sort of what I'm doing. So we'll just get rid of that. We have a message from... I'm your new employee, this guy. Alexander Winstone. Delighted to make your acquaintance. Now, I expect this park to be operational very soon, and I'm giving you all the funding you need to achieve this. Woo! And money! this will be a trial run for you. No one outside of the company shall ever step foot on this island. So, no need to build an abundance of attraction. Focus solely on the future stars of our show, the dinosaurs. Welcome to Prehistoric Kingdom. <laughs> there we go. So pretty much, he sounded like a bit like John Hammond. At the end, there's like, "Welcome to Jurassic Park," when it was like, "Welcome to Prehistoric Kingdom." But anyway, so here we go. We have the fences. Then we also have the dinosaurs. So we have a habitation, which is probably just like the 
it's a nursery pretty much, straightforward. We have the feeding, and we have shelters for the dinosaurs. Acclimation and enrichment, we don't have, obviously it's not locked because it's a demo. We have water utilities, we have transportation, we can make like a jeep thing. Uh, because Utilities, we have obviously turbines and water, which you have to display or put beside them. Because things do take water and electricity, which is pretty good, we twist the things. We have paths that we can use, stone, wood, brick, dirts, different kind of dirts. And decoration, we have park scenery and rocks. We don't actually have any trees or anything we can't use. But anyway, let's get into it. We're just going to build pretty much close to the coast here, so we are. So we'll just build down here. So we'll have like a path. No, that's not a path. This is a path. We're going to have a stone path. Whoa, it's really close. Um. So we'll build a stone path. We'll build big exhibits for these dinosaurs as well. So we'll have a stone path, right? So the first exhibit we're gonna have, we're gonna use a wooden fence. So we'll just do this. We'll bring the wooden fence all the way up to the top here. We'll bring this to here. And we'll use this here. And we'll bring it down to here and bring it across. Oh. It's down one, bring it across, and that'll be the first exhibit. So this is gonna be, it's a relatively big exhibit. So what we'll do is we'll go into here, we'll build the incubation. Oh, that's zooming me right in, that is the wrong. So we'll turn it around and we'll have the incubation, or the nursery, in there. And as you can see, it's building, nice. To say the controls are really really easy for this here so they are so as you can see it needs power and it needs water so we're going to have to put in uh, a wind turbine we'll stick a wind turbine over here and it needs water as well oh. and we'll stick the water just there so there we go as you can see it has water and it has power so now we can go in and here are the dinosaurs i'll get rid of that we have the gallimimus and you can select what age it is you can like look baby look at a tiny baby or full fledged adult um you can have different skins there's silver spawning that's pretty good and what's the other one bristle neck that's pretty nice as well we'll have the bristle neck male or female you can have them feathered i'm assuming there will be a scaly um version we can also have the transverse rex we can have a scaly version if you want or we can have the feathered version um, a lot of people probably use the feller version and we also have the Velociraptor. there we go it's feller we don't have the scaly version of it and uh, baby adult we actually have um transverse as well we can do baby adult there we go and it, obviously they all have like different skins as well you can use which are pretty cool but we're going to start things off with the gallimimus also if you the main class for if you subclass if you go to this here one you have triceratops is the is the fourth dinosaur that we can have and you can have evergreen or you can have this one crimson frill which is really really nice as well but like i said we're going to start with the gallimimus so we're going to have him and we're going to have the bristle neck because i think that's pretty nice we're going to have for breeding one we're going to have a male switch over to female females are smaller we'll breed one of them too and select all and we'll put let's see place selected we're going to place bam bam there you go so there we have our lovely gallimimus now look at these bad boys they look amazing you can follow him around. He looks cool. That's the female, I think. I'm assuming that's the female. The male's over there. Yeah, it's the smaller one. And plus, it tells you here, actually. Sex female, yeah. Wandering, mood, health, hunger, thirst, and energy. But look how cool they look with the fellers. I think that's really, really amazing. So, anyway, we've got two Gallimimus in. We're going to what we're going to need is we're going to need to feed them. Now, there obviously is. two feeding things we need a water we'll need a water trough so we'll stick the water one there because all dinosaurs need water 
Now, I'm assuming it's going to be this. I am not a 100% sure, but I always thought Gallimimus were like insect eaters slash herbivore things. I didn't think they eat meat, so I'm going to stick this. Is this guy eating? No, he's just wandering. He's just going to wander over to the... Oh, he is eating. So that's the right thing anyway. So there we go. Got two Gallimimus, and it's say you can actually name them as well. So we have Gary and Jemima from the old, well, Gary's from the old Minecraft series, but um, Jemima's not. She's something new. Um, we'll have a look at the meal. Here is the meal. Oh, well, um, he looks pretty cool. He sounds pretty cool as well. But that was the Gallimimus. Um, oh, I need to sort of fix the camera angle here because it's a bit bit ski with ski with so you can like I say you can build up you can make shelters you can have shelters for them we could put like a, a rock shelter in here we'll put it like maybe up here so we can so they can build build the so they can have a place to sit um rocks and stuff we can do rocks we can just put rocks in and the thing about this here is good is you can actually stack rocks on top of each other. It's like you can make them like pretty, pretty cool. Obviously, you can make rocks and stuff and put rocks everywhere. And you can expand it out and you can, you can put it up or you can move it over that way. It's pretty cool. Just throw that on top. There we go. like maybe another one on top so there we go we can have you can experiment so many ways with this for the demo i say it's not a bad demo we have four dinosaurs and you can there's quite a few things to do so what we'll do next is we'll stick another dinosaur and we'll have a look at some of the other ones as well we're going to go for like a brick fence this time because we're going to have maybe a t-rex or something in the next one should we put a t-rex in ah we'll put a t-rex in why not why not? There we go. And we'll go for the same thing. We'll put it down the back here. We'll let it build shelters. We'll put another cave up for the T-Rex at the back here. And um, feeding. We're obviously going to need some meat because obviously T Rex is, is is a carnivore. And there we go. We'll jump in. We'll get rid of this here. Helper hints because we don't need it. Right. So, Transverse Rex. There we go. We'll have two of these bad boys, seeing as scaly or non scaly. We'll have the feller one because why not? Oh, that looks pretty cool. What's the ginger version of the female? The Highlands. We'll have a female Highland one, and we'll have a male Oh, we'll have a male Highlands one too because they're pretty cool looking and then we'll just select all and we'll place selected so we'll be able to plant him down there we go and look at these oh they look amazing as well 16 years old, go speed up Applied obviously because of the demo and stuff, but they look cool. It's got wee tiny turkey wings, wee turkey wings there. He looks dead, like derpy as well, and he like he's a wee bit derpy. But anyway, I wouldn't like to get messed or mess with him. Like he'd probably end up eating my face, eating my face. So this is the female. As you can see, it says its energy is sort of low, and here we have big. Uh, Big Bertha, the male. <laughs> Bertha, what a male name. There we go. He looks pretty cool as well. As I say, these are pretty they're pretty cool uh, models. I actually really like them. Especially the feller's versions. It's because we nimbly turkey wings here, which is pretty cool. And he's going to eat some stuff. Yeah, he's going to eat all this, all this muck. Cool wee animation there for eating. But like I say, guys, what you must realise is this is still a demo, so this is not the proper game. So there will be some bugs and stuff, which the guys will probably be sorting out. But um, anyway, other than that, 
let's get on to our third dinosaur. I'm just going to do like a straight, straight path up. Straight path. Um, it's this one, isn't it? Yeah, we'll just do like. What I might do is I might build the exhibits and then just like put the dinosaurs in. So we'll do that. So we'll do the. We'll have another. Do we have another wooden one? Could we have that? Do you think? For small animals? No, we don't have small animals. We're gonna have big animals. We'll have um. Goodness, I just I have to delete that now. Oh, I have to zoom down. Oh, what's happening? There we go. We're back in it. Where's this fence that I've misplaced? There we go. There. This one's going to be a bit wonky. There we go. So there we go. We'll have this one. And we'll do another one on this side. But we'll do it stone as well. We'll do floss raptors. I wonder if anything will happen. Will they freak out? Will they freak out if there's floss raptors next to them? That was perfect. Got that one perfect with it. Right. Um dinosaurs will have the that and then we'll have this one here. Um feeding water bam. Did I put that in there or did it just Glitch. Oh no, it needs water and we need power over here as well. Or no, we need water just over here. So we'll do the feeding thing there and we'll do this over here. And we'll also put some water in. Did we get water now? There we go. There we go. So now we're going to like, go for this. Velociraptors. So we have Sam Peregrine, Red Barn, which is pretty cool. I actually like the Red Barn, or the Ash and Brindle. I'm gonna go for the, what's the female? I'm gonna go for the Ash and Brindle. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have, we're gonna have a pack of these. We're gonna have two, two meals. Two meals, and we're gonna have like th four females. Four females. I've got three meals actually. There we go. I'm going to select all and we're going to place the selected. So we're going to go bam, 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 bam. There we go. And look at these bad boys. How nice do they look? Look pretty cool. Look pretty amazing. Look at oh, the pack of them. And they're all going for something to eat as well. I like the way the long grass is. It's like Jurassic Park, The Lost World, where they're like, get out of the long grass! And then these guys just keep munching. And munch people up. Munch, munch. But these have to be actually my favourite model out of all this here so far. I think they're really, really cool looking. Uh, their claws especially. Like, look, I would not like to be on the end of that claw. That is just a badass claw. And T-Rex in the background. That is pretty cool. So, five years old. These all are, which is pretty cool to say. These are probably the fav my favorite out of this year whole demo. Floss Raptors, that's pretty amazing. They're so tiny. You could have loads of these. You could literally have so many of these. So right, we're gonna jump over here and we're gonna have Triceratops. Should we have a herd of Triceratops? Um, we could have a herd of Triceratops, Goomba. We're gonna have the uh, Crimson Frill meal. We'll have. Breed two of them. And we'll have female. We'll have five females, why not? 
so they have like we heard of triceratops. I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to select all. Place selected. There we go. Bam, bam. Oh, look at these guys. So this is the female. Oh no. This is the female here, because you can tell, because the, the frill's not that, it's just plain black. And you can tell the males, because they have the nice, like, fire colored, f which are pretty cool as well. These two are, these are also pretty cool models. Although, I didn't think the Triceratops' horns are as long as they should be. Maybe it's just me. Maybe the horns could be a bit longer. Maybe that's just me. But, I always thought, and I also thought, Maybe Triceratops horns curl out the way, as in, like, instead of curling down, they curl, like, up the way. Maybe that's just me, maybe that's just the way it's portrayed. Maybe they actually do curl down. Not entirely sure. But anyway, these guys look pretty cool as well. We have a nice wee herd of Triceratops. But anyway, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, check it out yourselves. I'll put the link in the description below for Steam. Um, there really should be a herd of these, shouldn't there? We'll put like six of these bad boys in. Um, yeah, the link will be in the description. It is on Steam. It's a free demo, um, which is pretty cool. I'm assuming it's going to be the alpha or whatever is going to be released pretty soon, which I will probably be play playing quite a lot of on the, this channel, which is good. Um, also, still keep an eye on Miss Oika as well, so I we'll, can't wait for it to come out. And like I said, Jurassic Park Evolution, uh, or Jurassic World Evolution. If you're not checked the trailer, check it out. It'll be on YouTube. Um, it does, from what it's been shown, look pretty good. So I'm looking forward to it as well. But anyway, guys, until next time, have a lovely day, whatever you're doing. And bye for now.